I have been working on this for like a few days, just a few days, maybe totaling a few hours worth of work. This is Honeycomb 2. It's not really the whole computer at this point. Right now, I'm really just focused on the case. Now, unlike Honeycomb PC 1, which was about ease of use, like you're getting uh, easy access to the internal components and then you can easily identify what components are what, etc., etc. First time user, first time upgrade computer, whatever. Now I just want to make something for myself. A more refined, more personalized computer case for me. Anyway, this is Honeycomb 2. Look at that. I could like move it around, move it around. Oh, damn. So let's talk about the changes I have done with Honeycomb PC. Also, yes, I am using a square ish 5x4 Dell monitor I bought for like 35 bucks used. I mean for comparison, this is my laptop screen right now. So you got OBS running on my second screen. Let's crop it in. So now let's talk about the changes while I am in this 3D model. So originally it only has a diagonal corner here on one side. A more asymmetric design, making it look unique and shit. Yeah, it doesn't really grow on you. Now I made the front equal. As you can see over here, it will still have the honeycomb mesh in front here. This yellow area here is going to be a honeycomb mesh around here. It still has that power button here in the center left. It I also made it a little longer. I also moved the PCIe stuff down so that big ass air coolers are not going to interfere with the graphics card. So let, even if you have a big fat tower cooler, this is a Cryorig H5 and then we have a reference NVIDIA graphics. Non-reference cards would be taller over in this area, but at least now there's a little more space here on this area, unlike on Honeycomb where it may be a bit of an issue. Everything is a lot more planned now. Everything is measured and triple measured. Like I looked at it a lot more carefully. Um, the original Honeycomb, doesn't actually have a 3D model. It has sort of a 3D model, but not everything is thought out. And when I was building it, I was basically winging it. Yes. See episode three, everything's just winged. You would see that I even checked like measurements in the middle of building it. Now everything, and I mean everything, is thought out. The only thing that is not like in here is the like the honeycomb parts. Those parts I'm gonna have to do in Adobe Illustrator though. And it's up to work out how do I bring things between the two. It's not easy. That's why I need a different modeling software. Something that would actually talk to each other with my other software. I also have to like somehow print this out or some sort with measurements and everything. So I could just start cutting and build it together. It will be way more efficient than kind of eyeing it and then cutting parts and then putting it in black. This one, again, way more thought out. I could like take, let's strip this down. Let's take out the basement where the power supply is. Let's take out um, mid frame. Could take that out as well. Um, the acrylic panels, yep, those ones. And the thing is, I'm actually in the middle of like, what I would do, what I'm doing right now is taking these and then and then let me extrude it i'm basically taking apart my 3d model so now i could have individual pieces instead of like a jumbled mess of origami whatever glued together 
black. Now it will be individual pieces like this one. So I could like uh, fill that one and then I'll turn that into a group. Jazz Club.